here we are, two very young men. 120 kilograms is what Sajik weighed in at. It's almost definitely not yes. what weight he, he is now. He cut to that weight. And so we can see the height and reach is for Sejic, and it would be fascinating, I guess, for Pinto whether he's actually fought anyone of this size before. Very few people have fought someone of this size before. Well, the man in the blue corner from Bosnia, 28 years old, stands in at uh, 206 centimeters, 6 feet 9 inches, 120.1 kilograms with a professional record of eight fights, five victories, and three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause is for the Dragon of Bosnia, Benjamin Sejic! His opponent in the red corner from Portugal, 25 years old, stands in at 196 centimeters, 6 feet 5 inches, 113 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning LFL heavyweight champion, Mario Pinto! Well, this main event of the evening, this LFL title fight is scheduled five rounds of five minutes. Referee is Mr. Daniel Sharifi. Here we go, the main event. Five rounds of five minutes. You know the rules, fight hard, fight Look at the size of that dragon on the left of your screen. And Pinto doing a very John Jones style, not making eye contact, looking away, just getting himself in the zone. This is going to be a fascinating fight, and it's impossible to know which way it's going to go. That's why we have it. Sage is the longest reach I've ever seen. His reach is longer than I'm tall. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, look at it. Look at the, the length of that arm. It's a good job putting pressure on Pinto. Mm -hmm. It's how long exactly. Oh, oh, Mario looking for a Mamari roll for that's a leg crazy. Lock, huh? For everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's still coming. Oh, and Pinto looked a little bit lackadaisical yeah, he there. Did. He's got a hold of him now. He did. He just kept going. He's got a body lock. Uh, pulls him to his guard. Goes to guard. Yeah. He's got an underhook. He's and he's going for a sweep. So, yeah, man. today, Big Stefan said, don't be surprised to see th this man pull guard. And, and uh, so crazy to see a guy probably 285 pounds or more now after he's replenished, pulling guard and looking to sweep from a uh, lockdown half guard. And we can see what's Pinto going to do here. He's going to come up on, yeah, he's going to get him from this dogfight position. So you can actually try to rip the legs apart here. This is all sort of a uh, lockdown half guard, which again, to see a heavyweight playing this game, then comes up to dogfight here. Pinto's got to be very careful to, make, to, to not make a mistake. Because Sage is waiting for him to make a mistake. He needs to stay in this position yeah. instead of just getting up fast and trying to move away. Yeah. There he goes. He's on top. Almost on top. He's going to oh. separate. And he's Good gonna come running at him again. Very nice work by Pinto there. Super cool fight, guys. <laughs> but exactly like, yeah, exactly. Just love to see heavyweights trying to do funky BJJ stuff. Pinto just rips one to that muscular calf. Really good calf kick, and the way Sage stands, he's open to those calf kicks the entire fight, pretty much. Yeah, with that huge wide stance. Sage hits you with one, even a, even a pushing punch. He's just got so much weight behind him. He's connected to the ground, even pushing a punch, he can drop you. It's crazy. He looks like an Anam character. It's yeah. like they, they, they drew him. And he gets bigger and redder as the fight goes on. That's, that's nice what kick. you want. Pinto was, oh, good stiff jab there. Pinto was dragged down and in real precarious positions, and he's up. He's going to be real happy about how this is going. Exactly. And remember, this is a five-round. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Those are some about. big shots. Oh, oh, big oh, 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 he's got him down. Pinto's up. Pinto, oh, he's and turned he's over. Top. He's, got to be, he's got to be careful here. Yeah, he could get swept here. 
That's what I'm talking about. Even when it looks like he's just pushing these punches. Oh, there you go. Some shots yeah, coming in from Pinto here. Some that, of them are connecting. There's a little bit of blood on Sejic's forehead. Oh, some shots coming in. Sejic's attacking Pinto. this. Pinto's laying some big ones down. That's a crazy round one. Oh, beautiful oh, sweep there. He's, he's going for a knee bar. Now. Yeah, he's going to go straight. Knee he's bar. No, he's, he's still got He's got the leg. Yeah, now he's got the he's heel. Got the he's got the heel. Yeah, and now he's out. Now you can punch from here if you're Pinto. One minute, 44. Oh, no, now he's going to reverse. Pinto needs, people do need to attack the hands here and stop. This Sejic locking anything in. This monster is trying to break the smallest tendons on the sides of the knee using leverage and skill. And Sejic's nose as well is all he's busted up. pouring blood. Pinto is a minute and a half is a long time to work here from Sejic. Pinto's yeah. got to stay calm, but like but small movement can you know, make an opening to be submitted. Yeah. And calm is oh, cool, but no, no, yeah. just poured out of yeah. Sejic's nose that all nose over his broken. glove. Oh, definitely. There, there his foot is out. His foot is out now. Doesn't mean it's going to stay out. But Pinto Sage. has the two on one on in Sejic's hand, which is important to stop him trying to lock anything now in. Now he's got the toe hold. He's going to go old school toe hold or back to the heel. This is... Moving it to the other side. Yeah. This dangerous. is real dangerous stuff here. Oh, he's going for a knee bar. Knee bar. Knee bar. Yeah. No, he rotates out. Oh, he's got he's his knee out. the foot. Ten still got the foot. Pinto no has gone out. He's back up. But be Look at that. You know, you need to be careful. This oh, oh, is a big oh, shot. shot. And blood is ripping out of Sejic now. A 285-pound bloody dragon is just flying <laughs> at you. What a fight. There's only one person in the world who can say it like that, Robin Black. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Just a nonsensical first round and beautifully ugly. There he goes oh. again, trying to pull guard. But Ten seconds left. He's looking for the end of the round. He needs a breather. He needs to. And if, if you're Pinto, you, you could take a moment and kick him oh. out. He's just going to look at him. What? And stare look at the at stare him. down between those two warriors at the end of this first round. Sage is exhausted. Yeah, I, I got a good feeling that nose is broken. Oh, it is definitely not the, the same nose it was when he came in. That look at this thing attacking you like a savage. Just and just going, going, going. <laughs> Beginning of an yeah. MMRI roll. Take some cojones there. Very much enjoyed that. But then uses it just to get in here and then drags him into guard, which is one of his specialties. Pinto had to do amazing to be able to to fight through that and not end up on the bottom. These are pushing punches, and look at their impact. Then there's a knee here. Ooh. Oh, man. And for a moment, I thought the fight could have been over there, but hey, Pinto I'm did a fantastic good. job reversing. And then he did everything he needed to do to protect those tendons and ligaments around the knee. And there's the ground and pound, the burst open, Sejic's nose. And some nice, Tony. calm defense here from Pinto. Look at My this dad. thing bathed in its own blood. Go on, go on. If you are Pinto's corner, Go. you're saying, I know you're tired, but that man is more tired than you are. He's coming strong. Go around. Take it I think along. that's a fact. Take it along. Ready? Let's go. So we see if Pinto can go for some more leg kicks. Oh, that's exactly that's what you want beautiful. 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 Beautiful combination. There's a There's this could be it. He could stand back up here, and he doesn't want to. Yep. Yeah, that's we a are. very Go. smart Go. move. Watch how labored it is get back. He's gonna run out of again. And he found some serious home for those shots there. Oh, oh beautiful combination. And here Pinto. we go. This is nonsense. It's amazing. Spinning out of control there in the cage. And Pinto understood the assignment here. A quick but not powerful. Tap, 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 tap. Try to tap, tap. Accurate putting the just putting the pace on Sejic. Just touches, touch, touch. There's a touch. Now he looks for another. He's got to be patient. Touch. He doesn't want to run in and let Sage get a hold of him again. A little fake there to see what the reaction is. Now two touches next. Touch. And looks like Sejic has switched his stance up very slightly from the first round. He's not standing as wide. Maybe that's an exhaustion thing. Sejic has been in these situations before where he's tired and beat up and still dangerous. Watch for the calf kick again after a few more touches with the jab. Keep working, guys. Keep working. That's, a little, that's a little bit sloppy. 
You want to be real smart pool. here for both guys. Look at that. Look at him just slither his way in. It's like Watch. a snake. Every time you got to get up, though, it's very fatiguing. You want to Come on, fight. Back to the touches if you're Pinto. Yeah, he's just trying to conserve energy. At this stage, you know, he knows he's in control, he's in the driving seat in this round. And all just this amount of offensive weaponry, just put lots of it on, so it kind of overwhelms, say, Hitch's interpretation of what's happening, makes him panic, and then he'll come rushing in, be a little more predictable. You just want waves of touch offense here. Yeah. Crashing to the shore. And when this big man is stumbling towards you, seemingly off balance, he's still falling into a grab. So a nice little calf kick. Pinto's got him shelling now. That's good for him. I understand the approach from Mario Pinto, but I want to see a little more urgency here because I really feel the finish is there for him. But yeah, he could have finished it earlier from the, if the way things were going. He was finding a home for those left and right and little combinations. He's good left hook. He's very smart and his team is smart. Not only keep this guy here, give him, give him lots of touches, but that nose, hit that nose over and over again. You don't have to hit him hard. Let him feel the sand, the little broken pellets of sand that is his body inside of his own face. Let him feel that. Touch him. You can say so many of Sayich's strikes now have just been swinging power punches. Beautiful little calf kick there from Pinto. Pinto's in total control here now. Sage doesn't have any energy left, it seems like. But, you know, to your point, Stefan, too, is when you want to see him do a little bit more is if you let say it's recover for 20 seconds and you only touch him once or twice he has one more rush at you every time yep 100 percent so stay on him touch 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 tapa tapa and that jab every time pinto's throwing it it's landing yeah. and i see him following up with the right keep though working, guys. Keep working. for anybody who's had some breaking to the inside of their face. Sometimes, like I said, it feels like there's little pieces of glass in there. And those are parts of your own body moving around. It is extremely unpleasant and distracting. And uh, Pinto, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that, Robin. <laughs> know, right? Thank you. Yeah. There's a reason it, I, I'm not fighting anymore. I know those memories don't go away too easy, do they? Nope. <laughs> but it's all part of the, you know, the beauty of the experience, right? It doesn't feel like it to... Um, to this dragon right now, but it is part of the adventure of this. But yeah, Mario Pinto, with 40 seconds left and a fatigued man, maybe you want another calf kick or two, but you definitely want three, four more punches, clean ones. Jaw jackers. I'd like to see Pinto go high with his legs. Mm -hmm. Fake low, go high. The opening is there. Yeah, Sage's hands are low, he's not defending very well. His offense is these big swinging shots coming in. He's clearly exhausted. Yeah, they tire you too. You go off balance from the force of your own punch when you're that big. Then you have to reset yourself. All of that costs time and energy. A little bit of a low blow there from Sage. <laughs> Sajic is trying to shake hands and touch gloves and stuff, which is not a bad idea to lower the temperature here a little bit. And Pinto's too wise to it. Yeah, not having any of that whatsoever, but interesting round there from Pinto. You've got to wonder whether it was tactical to try and maintain his stamina throughout the fight. But if you look at this, mm -hmm. this first opening of the round, it looked like he was going to get it done. Yeah, you know, there's two ways to look at it. If, if he was wrong, if he thought he was going to get it done and he was wrong, it, it could be a negative. If he was being you know, conservative in it, he believes this fight will get even easier for him. And he may be right about that. So if he has a spectacular finish in round three or round four, we'll know that this was the right strategy. But if, if uh, Sehich is able to get him down and somehow upset him here, it will, we will look back at this round two as the wrong Come strategy. On, Blue corner. But that's called resulting. The result is not always indicative of, of your decision-making being good or bad. Sometimes it's just how the moments unfold. And Sejic was laborious standing up there. He's panting. Guys, three, come. While Pinto looks cool as a cucumber. Let's see if, if Pinto throws in 
little phrases and punches here again. Pinto's faking the kick to see if he can get a response. Dragon kick. Dragon whips tail. There you go. Just needs to work, put a little bit more pace on him, exactly those jabs. But as Stefan and Robin have been saying, he needs to put something behind them as well. Create some combinations, not just a single shot. Yeah, if you think of a, a punch as a word, think of a combination as a sentence. He yes. goes again, sprinting after Mario Pinto. But that's the third time that Pinto's got up from an attempt to take down attempt and looked away. He's got he a hold now. Fall. Yeah, but he Pinto's reversed up oh. and he's going to back guard. out. Uh, before he backs out, he gets entangled, so he throws punches. Oh, some big yes. shots. Strikes there from Pinto. Sage Work is exhausted. Keep working. He said, he said, tap. Ta oh, there's some big that's shots. It. There he is. What a finish from Pinto, a slightly bizarre end there where he paused, said he tapped and had to finish, but Sejic is not looking great on the floor, exhausted, beaten up, but yeah. what a performance from Pinto. He was in control from very early on yeah. after Sejic came out explosive, threatened on the ground. Pinto just took control and throughout all of it looked assured. Collected, slick, and our heavyweight champion defends his belt. Pinto is very special. He's a, he's a unique individual. He has to, you know, he's young, so he has potential to continue to improve. He doesn't want to look at himself as a finished product, but where he is at so far is very special and very rare, and he has the potential for true greatness even beyond this. And going up again, this was a tough challenge. This is a black belt BJJ, high-level competitor, huge athlete, and Pinto dealt with the aggressive onslaught and looked fantastic while doing so. And, and if I just clarify the ending for people, he was hitting him, and Pinto heard Sehich say tap or tap. And then he told Daniel, the ref, Daniel, our referee, did exactly the right thing. If I didn't hear it, I shouldn't just believe you. <laughs> like, I can't call it a fight just because you say so. So he said, keep working. Pinto did. He did exactly. Everybody did the right job there. Uh, Pinto told Daniel. Daniel said, I didn't hear it, so you got to keep working. So Pinto did keep working. So it looks like they're having a discussion about that very thing, about um, whether he tapped or not beforehand. But at the end of the day, it didn't really matter because Pinto, as you said, he did what the referee needed to do. Yeah. Yeah. So here, say it's just coming in and he gets the low single and he keeps coming, keeps coming. And I believe Pinto got him face down here at some point on one of these takedown attempts. Gotta say, good yeah. work by the Cutman to stop the bleeding yes. in the nose. Yeah. Sage too, by the way. So he goes to disengage, but he's tangled, so he decides instead to throw punches, which might lead to a disengagement. Oh, and we, sh we should go again to that finishing sequence yeah. in a second. He's in deep, but Pinto gets back, reverses him, bends him down, can't get out, so decides to punch instead. And whether he said uh, tap or he said I'm done, whatever he said, uh, if the ref doesn't hear it, he instructs you to continue. Pinto did exactly that. He continued, and you're like, okay, you need me to finish this guy? I'll yeah. finish this guy. And so everybody did their job correctly in that scenario. It looks different to the viewer, but everybody did their job right. Excellent fight. As a, a man who knows something about heavyweight fights, Stefan, what, yep. what do you think of when you look at Pinto? I love the way he fights. Very methodical, very efficient. Smart fight, especially after that first round with a big guy who's a submission threat like that. It must have been very scary when he got a hold of that leg. Yeah. And you're there a minute and a half to go against an expert just trying to rip your knee into pieces. Right, let's go to the official announcement. Well, let's start with a big applause for these two giants. Benjamin Sehich and Mario Pinto. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this fight, and still the LFL heavyweight champion, Mario Pinto! Next, to both these gentlemen, let's hear it for both these two heavyweights. Thank you both.
walk for a wonderful fight. Mario, congratulations. You see the size of this fucking dragon you just took down? Please. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Let me, I've got a lot to say. First of all, all glory goes to God. Without him, I'm nothing. Second of all, God bless my family. They support me so much. I love you back at home. I can't wait to get back. Now, Raphael, he pulled out. So he stepped up, LFL pulled through, and I got the job done. Like I said before, I came, I saw, and I conquered. And I'm not finished. Listen, listen. Right now, every single one of you sitting down, I don't care about the others that left, they don't want to wait. You lot need to be grateful where you are right now. You need to go home, embrace your family, embrace your home, go on the floor and kiss the floor. Be grateful for what you have, because we're all blessed and we're all rich. People right now are praying to have what we have. I get to come in and love and do what I love. People are crying just to be in a home right now. So be grateful where you are. Benjamin, you're a beast. Thank you for stepping up. The other guy pulled out. I'll get him. And lastly, and again, free, free. Free, free. Free, free. All glory goes to God. We're all the same. All religions. Alhamdulillah. Allah Akbar. Your winner and still LFL heavyweight champion. That's it for Mario Pinto. And there he is, Mario Pinto, an unbelievable heavyweight prospect, defends his belt and excited to see where he goes next, Stefan. Yeah, 100% and very moving message, of course, but everything is going on in the world and when you use that moment you have after the fight, you've been working hard to get that win and, you know, that's what you say.